Hello and welcome back to Satisfactory Update 6 Experimental. Uh, this is Maker Gaming, episode 9 of our playthrough. Uh, so, yeah, in the last episode we made the space elevator, so our next progression goal is going to be producing. Um, Breaking news from Earth widespread chaos and mayhem. World President urges this is a long one. to do their part and harvest alien artifacts. So yeah, like I was saying, or I was in rudely interrupted, was uh yeah, we need fifty smart plates to unlock tier three and four, and so with that goal in mind, um that puts us at a coal factory build for the next episode. Uh so we have a lot to do for this episode. Um I think I'm gonna make a little to do list, so yeah, let me do that real quick. All right, so we got our list. Um, so yeah, I want to find and research some hard drives. Um, I really want to get the casting screw recipe before we start unlocking more tiers, and it gets harder and harder to do that. I just think it it's it just gets rid of one extra constructor, makes the makes the basic iron production lines uh, simpler, easier to manage. So we'll do that, and then uh, I want to expand the map. I want to be able to see a whole lot more of this. Um, so we'll do that. Uh, we're going to start mostly going just far west as far as we can go. See some of the desert. And I'm pretty sure there's at least three or four hard drives along this way. Uh, Spire Coast base idea. So yeah, I kind of want to walk through the through the main canyon and into the Spire Coast. Just kind of see what I want to do. Once we get that coal power. Uh, kind of what our plan is moving forward with the Spire Coast. And then I want to finish this base, uh, just some of the cleanup, get some of the builds up, some of the walls up, get the power lines a little bit more cleaned up. Uh, I'm going to do a lot of that off camera because I did so much of it in the last episode and I think I can just kind of show you what goes on or the finished product of each one. And then finally I want to get quartz and caterium uh, production automated as well. So get the lines down there, get a couple miners. Um, like I have in the to-do list over there. So yeah, uh, let's get started. I think I'll start with a little bit of the base cleanup and I'll be back in a minute to kind of explain what I did. So see you in a minute. Wait. This is just ridiculous. How did this even happen? Um, it's funny looking. <laughs> uh, I don't think, have I explained photo mode in this? Um, let's do it with this awesome foreground. So when you go into photo mode, you can zoom pretty substantially, which is real helpful when you're exploring the base. Um, you can use it if you see a slug or something like that down the way, you can zoom in. Uh, you can also click the mouse button. Uh, the middle mouse button it takes away all that you can press H and harness you can get photos so let's get a photo of this uh, masterpiece here yeah so that's how photo mode works now I'm gonna clean some of this up uh, now I'll be right back Uh, real quick, I did realize last episode that I didn't produce any, uh, I didn't make any signs last episode, even though we unlocked the signs, so I do want to get at least a few signs up just for people that have never seen them, so we'll get a little side machine running over here for uh, items like this. So, we want to keep power clean. Let's just use this. We can uh, underclock that machine. Since it's only using 4 megawatts, we come over here. Why are we not producing? Oh wow, I never picked this. 
What a disaster. That is a lot of game time that this should have been producing. That's why you always check before you leave your builds. Right, but this is plenty. Alright, so we only need four minutes. So just to be safe, we'll say five megawatts a minute. That went from a uh, whatever it was at to less than one per minute, so that's uh, that's an hour. And it's not going to last an hour to produce this, so we're good. We don't have to take it into our account of our uh, main power. Uh, just checking in, we're about, uh, we're in the last building of the six, just to at least get the, uh, the walls in. I know all this clipping's bad, but there is a, I don't know, there's a happy medium I have to find between getting stuff done and editing down the videos to try and get one out every few days. Um, the video editing's pretty time consuming, so as much as I hate clipping, I know none of this is permanent, it's just I want to get some other content, you know, get around, look at the map, uh, show new processes, so as much as it bothers me to leave all this clipping, um, I know that it's going to be changed soon, as soon as I have time. So, I'm just learning to deal with it. I apologize for it. Alright, so it might look as good in the buildings, but now we have power at least organized outside off of these main nodes going in and out of each building so with that done actually there's one more right here all that is still showing green yes we're still connected through there Okay. I think that's enough base cleanup to get started. Oh no, actually I wanted to do some... did want to get some assemblers going. I remember saying I could fit three or four in here, but... Let's see where we want it first. You know, let's go to the edge. That way we can see what our what our limits are. So we want to go centered as far forward as we can. We want an assembler that matches up to that line as close as possible. Is that centered? Liar. That blue line was a liar. Alright, so that's the absolute closest we can get. Let's see what that gives us for options back here. Closest we can get to that one is probably there ish. Nope, one back. I 
that's the one. Let's figure out this number. Um, one, two... It's either two or three. It's only two. First assembler there. Uh, we can probably make this work again over here. I think our next important one's probably gonna be rotors. That's also our. Um, it's also the item we need for. Hold on. Let me make sure this is centered. That's also the other item we need for smart plates. So might as well be making them both in here. Say two. One, two. Conveyor. Rotors. Alright, we're starting to look a little bit more respectable here. Go get a lot more screws. Let's go get a lot more of all three. Get these powered up, uh, automated. Three, uh, three assemblers going. Got rotors, modular frames, and reinforced iron plates. So, that is definitely an improvement. We got our wires, we got our buildings, at least the, where they're going to be finished. Uh, let's go take a look from up there. Grab our quartz. We can put up a few signs in a little bit. And move on to something else. This does not conclude base cleanup, obviously. I still have to clean up each building inside uh, so that they look at least that organized. But yeah, that definitely uh, looks a little better. I just saw something in the man before we leave. Um, I think I want to unlock through a skill tree to get uh, more pocket dimensions since we'll be exploring. Some biomass. Got the biomass. a few things. Hostile organism detection, uh, probably on a, the scanner. Got another hand slot. Structural analysis. Alright, got all the materials. Open that up. We got three new spots. Pocket dimension has been inflated. All right, so we are off to um, expand the map, go get some hard drives in the desert. Uh, just a couple of them. This will be our last time out going out and exploring before uh, 
we upgrade to the at least the tier three weapon, the sword. Um, especially with them working, I haven't really run into the hatchers since all these different updates, so I don't know how that's going to be, and uh, I don't know. It could be difficult. So we want better weapons at some point. All right, so that's where the limit of our power goes right now. We'll run that to uh, where that's going to eventually go with the KTRM and the quartz. And we can zip line back. All right, so we've run the wire. Power lines down to here, uh, near the Caterium. So I'm just gonna run the power to that and mark it on the map. But when we come back, we can set that production up. Of course, they're back. Alright, so new map marker, that's our Caterium, we're just going to stay with the same one. Okay, goldish color. So that's one marker, we'll run this down to quartz. And that'll be our second marker. And then we'll just keep going west. Oh, I also had an idea for this setup over here. There's a lot of resources in here. Just to show you real quick, a lot of people use this as... They say this is one of the most... One of the best places to start in the game. A lot of pure nodes. So what is that? Three iron. I think you have maybe two limestone pure nodes. There's one up there. And then there's another one maybe over here. And there's a copper two node over there. I have plans for that. And I'll show you coming back um, across the cliff. Oh yeah, I forgot about this limestone. Limestone node up here. Where's the quartz at? Alright, we have the power in all the way to uh, the quartz. There's our old friend spitters that uh, respond with the update with the patch. Alright, so the course is right up there. Uh, Spire Coast is out that way and we'll we'll go that way back to base when we uh, come back this direction but for now uh, we're gonna keep going west I think we'll come back when we come back and start building in this area we'll use this coal and that sulfur over there and we'll make a little uh, gunpowder black powder plant right there I would just jump and swim down but I think there's a large spider down there. So we'll just try and run past this alpha hog. Sorry, bro. Oh. 
never seen a bird like this. What is this like the faculty? That movie, The Faculty, where they're all uh, underneath the sprinklers on the football field, soaking it up. Let me see your mouth. Never seen that. Alright, so we're just gonna walk far west. As I've said, what the hell is that? Uh, on the way, I can point out if you've never played this side of the map. Uh, there's a limestone node back there, one or two. There's, I think, three coal. We don't have coal yet. There's at least three uh, nodes down there. And that's what we'll be using for probably the steel. We'll match that up with some iron from over there. I'll show you on the way back. That's part of my plan for the uh, near the Spire Coast. So I'll try and cut out some of the running because that way you're not just watching me uh, run for 20 minutes. but. I'll show you anytime I run into a hard drive or the scenery kind of changes a lot. I don't remember if there's anything in there. Uh, I think there's no hard drive though. There's the hard drive. Is it just the spitters? Alright, well, here's our first hard drive. for the awesome sink. What is that noise? was nice because it cost modular frames and there were some out in the crash site. If you hadn't uh, been making those by the time you found that one. And we'll get that started researching. And we'll keep moving west. one's two for two. No weird sounds coming out of them. There's a new one. Stop here for a minute. Uh, I usually have my cilia. It's good to collect some of that when we can. Yeah. I 
they might be somewhat rare, so I won't cut them all down. And there's the next hard drive. So I'm still chasing me. Yep. I think we're just going to cut them out of the equation. Okay, is there anything worth grabbing down there? Waiting around for them? Not really. Mission accomplished. Get away from them, see where we are on the map. There's a slug. Keep going. There's our base. There's Bean. Ray doesn't come out this way. Oh, there's a hatcher. So I've seen a video of that one, the hatcher respawning a bunch of times real quick. Hey bird. And uh, I'm more worried about it than the crabs killing themselves, taking one health. Now we have some hatcher remains. Oh, where are we already to the end? I guess so. We actually made it uh, to the end quicker than I thought we would. Uh, there might be one or two hard drives over this way. There's a couple here over by the coast. I don't want to go down that far. That bird's awake. Nope. He tricked us. Man, what if that had something to do with the story mode and they were all getting programmed or something by whatever makes all those. Alright, I think we're around the mountain. Sounds like spiders in the headphones. bombs. Alright, so that's a decent chunk. Uh, two hard drives. Uh, 
riverside or lakeside. Perfect place to research. Uh, we don't want to use Caterium for that. We don't want to waste our copper on that. So really, this is the one. That's a reason not to, uh, not to upgrade the MAM research tree too quick. You unlock a lot of materials. And they add to your pool of uh, possible hard drives. Oh! How fast are they? Spire Coast. I wonder if there's anything on the top of that. Uh, there's probably not now, but I wonder if there will be. I wonder if they're going to relocate hard drives, slugs, those things over to the Spire Coast. Now that there's all that new real estate that's not water. There's another hard drive. We could try and get that one. Add it to the, our list. We have our second hard drive uh, researching right now. Alright, so yeah, we've done one, we've done two. What all is protecting this hard drive? Whoa! Is that a big spitter? Carefully, I'm looking for my ramp. Got him. Uh oh. That guy's crafty. Wow, I dropped that bridge perfect. This needs power. Do I have time to make that? We just have to keep track, see if he f comes off either side of us. I don't think he's smart enough to. This is tense. Powered. Man, that was good. I'm going to leave that there just so I know that I've gotten this one. I'll have some sort of marking system to mark hard drives we've uh, opened at some point, but not right now. Alright, now we just gotta get around him. Man, that was crafty of him. Oh, thanks. So, I talked about doing something down here. I think I do either here or past this, these cliffs. And what I was thinking is that that perfect base area that I was talking about a little while ago at the start um, with the three or four iron and then the limestone that's on that island uh, that's all up here up in this cliff that we're looking at right here. So I was thinking of making like a, like kind of cascading all of those materials down this cliff. And then maybe about halfway down have them be smelted into ingots. And then run down and we'll either put something here or like I said we'll go further back and build some sort of base up, out there. And I don't think there's much to get out here right now but... I think I want to take a look anyways. Love the details on the fungus. Oh, wow. Oh, 
I was lucky to not activate those. Let's mark that and then we're gonna back out of this area. soil node. Oh, we should have marked those copper and that's all right. hard drive three for one fifteen um, okay so that cuts concrete down by about a third uh, but you have to add three silica also adds the production rate but no no Alright, so three times as many plates gets us three times as many reinforced plates uh, as the standard. But the screws, it's over four times as many, but it does triple the rate. Uh, but that gets into a case of can you get enough of those screws in, especially if you have multiple machines. Uh, it kind of depends on your belt, uh, your belt limit. But I think of the three, that's the best one. So that's what we'll get. And it's our last hard drive that we found so far. Oh, good. Sun came up while we were doing that. Oh, there's a hatcher. I like the colors out here so far. Very bright and vibrant. I was kind of thinking of like a... Uh, oh. That's... Coral's pretty awesome. I was definitely thinking of uh, smaller builds out here with uh, most of them having some sort of glass bout glass bottoms and uh, also I'm thinking about building ground floor um, a few inches below the surface of the water um, so the bottom uh, when you're walking you're always kind of in the water maybe if we go low enough with it we can actually see this without the uh, water effect from the top when we're on our buildings I've also thought, uh, you know, like when you see tropical vacations, the brochures always, uh, all these little small villas on little pieces of, uh, dock, and they're all connected by a bridge, uh, that goes to the, goes to the land. I'm kind of thinking like something like that with maybe each building holding an assembler or two, uh, taking in all the materials from, uh, the other side of the cliff. That's cool looking. Fibonacci sequence. Here's that fungus uh, detail I was talking about, but in the daylight, see a lot better.
wonder... I'm going to run around this place a few times before we kind of decide on where exactly to build anything out here. And it'd be nice to know where the where all the oil nodes are, because we know we're going to be building uh, fuel factories near them. Eventually. Uh, what is that, tier 5? I mean, with it being the Spire Coast and all these uh, curve shapes and spirals, I wonder if uh, it might be appropriate to do some curved buildings out here, some circular buildings. That's a cool background. Uh, be something big in front of that, over the water, with that as a backdrop. So colorful now. Alright, let's get back to... Back to building. Not too close. We'll take it. Comply. I wonder if this is new. I'm guessing that is new. There's actually some green, uh, some of that comes out and goes to the cliff. I doubt that was anything, but never hurts to look. I've been here before? Such a cool world design. Oh, shoot. I can take them. Are they about to jump on me? Ugh, I wish I had bombs. I'm not scared of you. Check our last uh, hard drive over on this mushroom. Up our modular frame speed, but that adds more screws to our recipes. This one is good. Let's see, one to one for copper. With this one, it's a 1 to 2 for copper by adding uh, another half of iron, so that's worth getting. Never use that, and that adds screws to the recipes. Alright, so we're caught up on hard drives. We're going to have to go find some more next... Not the next episode, but soon. Actually, the next episode, if we go to coal, we will be uh, running into that. At least one hard drive up there. More spiders. So just two. How's y'all's AI?
Oh, what was that? Oh, that scared me, Ray. That was a giant spider above me. Good look at the Swire Coast. Um, no clear base idea yet, but I know a few concepts I guess I'll be using. I'm gonna cross that off the list. And we've done as much base cleanup as we're gonna do today, so that just leaves um, Katerium and Quartz, and I'm probably just gonna do quartz to start. First things first, we want uh, we want this to be on the world grid. Not necessarily the world grid, but we want it to be on the world height. Because um, that's really the bigger deal. That way, no matter what angle you're at, um, on separate factories, uh, when you connect them with paths, uh, if the heights are the same, it's a lot easier to... Uh, to blend them into each other, and any sort of vehicle or something that rides over it will be much smoother for it. So, that's the world grid height. I think I wanted a little more tilted to this direction. So, build one on top. See how that looks. I think that's what I'm thinking. here. So yeah, I think this shape works. Oh good, did work. Good for now. Make sure that's off the edge. Yeah, we can even have a space behind it. Alright, so this is a pure node, so we're getting 120 off of Mark 1. Let's see, quartz takes 37 a minute. Silica takes 22.5 a minute. What is that? 37, 22, that's 60 a minute. If you did 1 and 1. So that means you do 2 and 2, and that'll give you your. That'll have uh, your best efficiency. So you can go Control C, and it copies it. 
This is new to update 6. Control V. Uh, anytime it says press E. Now it puts it in without having to select it. It's, it's, it's real handy for this and for signs. And uh, When you start making big factories with dozens of the same machine. Alright, so that'll do a split. And that'll just keep. Alright, so we're using lifts to, uh, uh, just get these two different materials into the awesome sink. So we're going to be doing half and half of each load. Are these not set? I never connected these. That will help tremendously. Because these machines are good. Silicone's worth. He wonders what silicone is worth. And I think we'll call that a building. Uh, just because uh, we need to end it there. Let's see. You know, we had a lot on our list, so uh, getting as far as we did, I'm okay with that. So we talked about the Spire Coast. Uh, we did what we're going to do for now on there. Uh, there's still plenty more of that. but And then we did our quartz. So hopefully on the way back to base we can do the same thing with the Caterium. Uh, yeah. So now that we have that done we can go back to base at the beginning of the next episode. Set up our um, assembler for the project part and we can have that uh, pretty quick and then we will unlock and start on the coal generators. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, be sure to hit the like button, uh, leave a comment, let me know what you think, uh, anything I can do to make these better. Um, it's still a work in progress, I'm learning every episode. Um, so yeah. I listened to the advice and uh, I appreciate it. So, see you on the next one.